In hindsight, should I have passed on these? I think yes. Hello and welcome back to another vintage inspired video. As you can tell, today's video does involve these vintage couches sitting right here behind me. I recently picked these up at an estate sale and they're from about the 1960s. But with that comes the smells of the 1960s. And unfortunately, in this case, it is one of the worst. It is cigarette smells. <sighs> one, not only is that just a terrible smell, but two, it is one of the hardest scents to remove from vintage clothing or vintage furniture. I have not kept these in my house since I bought them. They've been out in my photo studio. And I think I got wrapped up in the excitement of the sale. This was a two day sale. And on day two, I got there right as the sale opened. To my surprise, when I walked in, they were still there. But unfortunately, as soon as I walked in, you know what I also noticed? The cigarette smell. It was my fault. I bought them still. I have some regrets, but I will have zero regrets if we can get the scent out. They're in perfect condition. Think if you're out searching for vintage furniture and you find ones with cigarette smells, make your life a little easier and just pass on that one. Though maybe watch this video and by the end, we'll see if any of these methods work. And then in that case, perhaps go right ahead and buy that piece of furniture. My first plan to try to get the cigarette scent out is to sprinkle baking soda all over the couches and the pillows, let it sit for 30 minutes and then vacuum it up and see if that did anything. But to be safe, I'm going to start just with a single pillow. And then depending on how that goes, I will work my way to the rest of the couches. And then after that, I have some other plans to try. We're gonna see first how this does, but before that, we're vacuuming. Then we'll get to baking soda-ing. <laughs> and I can't tell if I'm just kidding myself, but this pillow I have vacuumed and it already smells better than the one I haven't. I think just getting some of that dust and debris out did a little bit of something. So I just wanted to share that, but we continue on. Now that the vacuuming is done, I'm gonna move on to the baking soda. Like I said, I'm gonna start with just this one pillow, sprinkle it on both sides, leave it for 30 minutes, come back, vacuum it off, give it a smell, and see if that did anything. So, fingers crossed. Okay, now we wait 30 minutes. All right, I am back, and it's been 30 minutes, and we're gonna dust this off, vacuum it, and then see if that baking soda did anything at all. Let's do a side-by-side -side of the other pillow, which I've only vacuumed. Oh yeah, there is a big improvement already just with the 30 minutes. All right, that's it for tonight. Here we are on a second day. In this container, I have both the pillows. They have been stewing in this baking soda box for the last five hours. Yes, let's open this up and see if anything has changed in the last five hours. It's pretty good. It still smells musty, but we're gonna do something else to try to alleviate that. Uh, the smoke smells definitely lessened though. This is the one that did not have that first 30 minute treatment. The cigarette smell is still there underneath, but it is much better and it definitely has that musty, little old lady, 60 year old couch smell. But I have another plan though to address that. Now it's time to throw baking soda all over both of these. Admittedly, I am a little scared of this step, but it seems like the pillows are okay. Really the only option is we get this smell out. So baking soda it is. Okay, there it is. <laughs> they are covered with baking soda. And I think I'm just gonna leave it maybe even overnight because I don't think it's gonna hurt it to leave it longer. We'll have to come back again on a different day and do the smell test. But I'm gonna go back to the pillows. I have two different methods I'm gonna try to sanitize and get that musty smell out. I'm gonna try each of the methods on the separate pillows to do a test and see which method did better at getting the smoke out. The first one, is a mixture of vinegar and water. This is one part vinegar to two parts water. I'm gonna just spray it, let it evaporate dry. Hopefully it smells better. If it doesn't, we'll just repeat that step again. I'm kind of making my legs burn. I am using the pillows as my test subjects. If they hold up fine to my methods, I feel a little bit better about applying it to the chairs. We're gonna let this dry, see how it is. Let's move on to the second pillow and my second method. 
second method. This is just straight vodka, not mixed with anything. And this is an old theater trick. Between performances, if you needed to refresh your costumes, you would just give it a little spritz because vodka is great at absorbing odors, sanitizing, and it dries clear. I just realized I did not do a little test on here. So hopefully it's okay, but this material seems pretty durable. Update on the sprayed pillows. This is our vinegar water. This is the vodka pillow. I will say the vodka one dried a lot faster. And then actually, I don't really get a lot of cigarette smell from this one. This one, you could smell the vinegar, but that will evaporate too over time. I think the cigarette smell is also improved, but the musty smell is definitely still with this one. This one, I don't think it really smells that musty anymore either. This one is remarkably better. Both of them are a huge improvement from where they were, but I think I'm gonna have to give the leg up to the vodka one. Yeah, I have one other method I'm going to try. This is something that you can use to remove cigarette scents from garments, in this case, pillows, stuffed animals, what have you. It is... <laughs> kitty litter. This is something I have heard about in the vintage community when it comes to removing cigarette scents from clothing. And I have to assume the same thing applies with these pillows. What I'm going to do is fill a container with some of this kitty litter, put each pillow in a separate bag and leave it exposed on the top. And then I'm going to cover that container and leave it for a week. Sounds like a long time, but I heard that it takes that long for the kitty litter to work its magic and absorb the scents that we don't want. So we'll be back again on a day three for the update and for the update of the chairs. Here we are, day number three. There's been some pretty good progress. Last we were here, I put baking soda all over both of these and they have been sitting in that for about 23 hours. And I will say, last night was the first time we took them inside and that overwhelming cigarette smell that I was really getting when I would open my photo studio was not there anymore. And within about 30 minutes, it really wasn't there anymore. That's a really good sign. It gives me hope for once we vacuum this all off and give it a really serious scent test that that cigarette smell is far, far lessened. About 20, 30 minutes of vacuuming, they look great. I can say I don't really smell the cigarette scent from where I'm sitting right now, which is in and of itself a really big improvement, but what we need to do is go in closer for a scent test. I'd say there's different spots that are a little stronger than others, more when it comes to the mustiness. The overall cigarette scent is very, very much knocked down, which I'm really happy about because that was the number one thing that was keeping me from putting them inside, but also just that I thought was gonna be the hardest thing to figure out. So the baking soda has done a lot of the legwork for us, but right now I'm gonna go get the spray bottle with vinegar and water and spray all over these. That is pretty impressive. The vinegar water mixture has dried and there are pockets on these chairs that have almost no scent whatsoever. And considering where they started from, that is really amazing. We're on the right track. I'm gonna use this vodka spray now because I really like the way it neutralized the odor on the pillow that I tested it on. That is it. I'm gonna now let these dry and then I will come back and give my final review on how they smell after this last and final step and hopefully I can finally bring them inside and actually use them. That would be novel. I bought these the day after Thanksgiving, I think. And now as I sit here, it is January 31st. So it's about time to bring them inside. Last we were here, and if you're counting, this is now day three of cleaning these chairs from the 1960s. I had put these in this box with the intention of leaving them in there for about five to six days. It's been raining, I haven't had a chance to film this, so I thought I'll just leave them in there, which has ended up being now 16 days. They don't smell really at all like cigarettes anymore. But I do think that that was more to do with the methods we've already applied, baking soda, vodka, vinegar. I don't think the kitty litter really did a lot more work. Maybe it's a step you can skip, especially if you don't have kitty litter on hand like I do. I have one other method I'm gonna do to these pillows before we get to my review on the chairs. I have this spray that is mainly for cat odors. It's 
It's supposed to be for organic scents. I'm not really sure if cigarette smoke counts as an organic scent, but I thought maybe I could try spraying it on here. Instantly eliminates organic odors from most surfaces and fabrics with a specialized blend of micronutrients instead of harsh chemicals and perfumes to cover up. I like that it is supposed to be gentle. All right, that's it for the pillows. Let's move over to the chairs. I wanted to just let you know how they'd been in the last 16 days because we finally did bring them inside. So I'm gonna let you know how that was. Sitting in the chairs that once really reeked of cigarette smells, they don't smell like they did when I first got them. They are so much more improved. I will say if I smell from here to here to here and just like little quadrants along here, I do find pockets that are much more musty scented than the rest of it. There's some spots I don't smell anything and They've been in our house. Granted, there was a sheet over them. I was trying to detour my cats from getting onto them, but it really turned out that that was an incentive for them to get onto them. But as they were sitting in the office that's right here, I never smelled them once. What are our takeaways then? Number one, if you can avoid it, do not buy vintage furniture that smells like cigarette smoke, unless you're willing to take on the project. I knew going into this, I could make a video about it. I could learn something new, share that with you. So I was willing to take on the project, but if you are not, I do not recommend buying that piece of furniture. Find something else. Number two, the thing I think that neutralized the cigarette scent the most was the baking soda. So start there. Number three, the vodka is just a nice added step to try to neutralize any lingering cigarette odors. I don't know how much more work it did than the baking soda itself, but the good thing about it is that once it evaporates, it's gone. Now there are some people who vocalize concerns over using vodka and that what it can do to a fabric over time. I have sprayed vintage coats months, even a couple years ago, and they're fine. So I'm not too worried about that. Vinegar will leave a little bit of a scent, but over time, even just in a few days, that will go away. I don't think I mentioned this. You can start by letting them air out. It's not a bad first step as soon as you get home. It will not be your only step. And I hope if you have found yourself in the possession of some vintage furniture that does smell like cigarette smoke or is musty, that these methods have helped you and that you apply them and they work for you. But they are night and day so much better than where they were. All right, that does it for today's video. I hope that you enjoy. I hope that you learn something. And until that next video, I am wishing you a super swell day and I will see you then. Bye. Holding for sound, holding for sound. First thing, airplane. First plant. <laughs> Did I really just get lipstick on it? Hopefully that's good, that sounds weird. Um.